Well, hello, uh, my name is John Young. Welcome to another tutorial. And today, what I want to talk about is getting things done, and more importantly, the tools that are available online because time management is hard for the best of us, and the difficulties that come with um, mismanaged time mean that things don't get done, um, you know, projects go over time. So if you want a better, more relaxed life, it's a matter of getting all the tasks um, out on paper, or in this case, um, into a system that you can use that will actually get things done. Now, I want to draw your attention quickly to a report that I read earlier this year, and it's the 2011 Social Media Marketing Industry Report. My industry is social media and about teaching business how to connect through online channels. Social media is part of that. And in the report, it one of the difficulties or struggles, one of the main questions is how do I best use my time to maximize my social media activities? And it talks about um, essentially, you know, how often should I do this and what tools can I use to maximize the time spent? I really think the question should be, first of all, what tasks sh should I be doing? It comes back to a strategy. But it comes down to what tasks should you do. And when you know those tasks, you can go and do them. You can allocate time, you can allocate resource, you can delegate it to others. So once you know, then you can just go and finish those tasks. If you don't know what the task is, you can't get it done. Now, I listened to an audiobook uh, recently, and it was written by David Allen. It's called Getting Things Done. Now, this was actually written um, a few years ago now, and David Allen is uh, an artist. He's um, a professional time management, um, I guess, what would you call him, expert. And he wrote a book about how to um, you know, improve your life um, by developing strategies to, um, I guess, get the tasks clear and, uh, you know, make decisions and get things happening. So in this book that he wrote, he has, um, he makes the point that it's only when our minds are clear and our thoughts are organized that we can achieve stress-free productivity and unleash our creative potential. Our potential. And in the book, he teaches about how to uh, either, you know, to apply the do it, delegate it, defer it, drop it rule. And that's to really to get things done and to reassess goals and stay focused in, in changing situations, to overcome feelings of confusion and anxiety and being overwhelmed, and to feel fine about what you're not doing. I really recommend uh, reading this book. Um, I listen to this book uh, on my on my smartphone. I've got a um, an Android phone. I just listen to that um, in the car. And uh, if you want to listen to that particular book, there is a link below this video that will take you straight to this page that we're viewing right now, and you can and download that there. So what do I do? Well, I use a product called Remember the Milk, and this is an online task manager. It's um, there is a free service available. Um, I happen to have the paid pro account, so I'll log in and I will show you um, what you get. So, a task is something that is uh, a definition of what you want to do. Um, as you can see on here, I've got a number of tasks that I'm you know, going to complete for today. You can't have them too broad. Um, essentially, I've got a create a RTM video guide, which is what I'm doing right now. And in here, you've got a priority listing. Basically, this first page you get to is the task overview for today. I can click on a task overview for tomorrow, and then I can have a look at any overdue tasks. Then I can be taken through to um, a continue to task section. Um, you'll notice down the bottom uh, right here of this page is the tag cloud. And what this does is um, the more tasks you have tagged with the same item, the larger this text will be. So here it says outsourcing, you know, it's quite large in comparison to other other. Um, tire tags in here, which means that I've got a lot of tasks that are to do with outsourcing. 
Um, so that can be handy for you if you've got a number of tasks, maybe a big project, a lot of tasks, it will actually you know, stand out there. Um, I'll continue through the tasks and walk you through here. So basically on the left hand side here, you have your list of tasks. You've got um, different tabs, so you can have different projects um, on the go, um, maybe not See, if I list all my tasks here, then that's everything that I've got going on at the moment. But if I just want to list what's um, in my uh, inbox, what's regarding to uh, content marketing or pending tasks, it's up to you what you create. You start out with the basic and then you can create your own different um, uh, tabs which you then allocate the task to. Creating a task is simple. You just click on this here and you write a task. So after this, I'll have to edit this video. So edit the remember the milk video. And I'll just I'll just leave it as that. Now you, you've got the option where you can just press enter and then that will save to the task list. But what it doesn't do if there is um, give you a due date. So what you can do is you can actually write due and I'll put today as the due date. Now I've pressed enter and as you can see it just popped up straight away there with today as the due date. Now what you can do here is when you click on it and select it you, you can actually press if you notice down here on the right hand side you've got one, two, three or no. That means the priority. Uh, as you can see here, I've, I've listed in. It is actually listed in order of priority. Uh, you know, the orange means high priority, and then you know the dark blue medium priority, and light blue is low priority, and then there's no priority. This to me is actually a high priority because it's something that I'm making today. I want to get done, so therefore, bang, um, I am creating that as a high priority. So once I've created the video, I will then go and edit the video. You can also tag it. If you notice on the right hand side of this screen, um, you, you've given more options. With, with the actual um, task ticked, it will actually stay on that, you can see the little blue line, it'll actually stay on this uh, menu here. So with it unticked, um, it will just scroll through um, all the different tasks. But with, with it ticked, it means it'll stay static and that means I can edit it. Now, I've got some options in here where um, I can change the due date. I can um, I can change it to say and just put in tomorrow uh, rather than a date. Uh, in actual fact, I want it today. Or you can actually put in a date if that's what you prefer. If it's a task that you plan on repeat, you maybe you put in weekly, and that way when I click that it's complete, when I click this button up here that it's complete, what will happen is that will actually set that same task again in a week's time. Now I don't need that so I'm just going to take that off. Uh, so it's never repeated. Now the time estimate to edit the video. Well that could be anything you like. Five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you like. Um, I believe it's going to take me about an hour to edit this video so we'll put that in. And tags, well, I've got a number of tags set up, so I'll just put that in. Um, I'll put that on. So this is a, actually a, for my website. I could put more tags, but just for this, I won't. Um, I don't need a location. Location is helpful, let's say, if you were to um, have multiple tasks in different locations. Something like um, if you worked in one location and you wanted to do a number of tasks there, you could allocate that location. Uh, if I wanted to add a URL in, um, potentially you could put a task in saying something like um, download a copy of this report and put the link to that report there. You, you know, you might be out and about somewhere and, and don't have the time to download and read, so maybe you want to read it at some stage later. So it's download and read the report and you have a link to, the, to, to that actual document there. It will tell you how many times you've postponed the task. So you know, I'm looking at these tasks for today and, you know, I may not get through them all. So what you can do is you can just press postpone and then that will take it to, you know, the next day. As you can see, it's postponed one time. So if I look at a task and go, oh, you know, have I, have I got that done yet? Uh, no, but uh, maybe I'll push it to tomorrow. But then I see that, hang on, it's actually been postponed a number of times. Um, then it's something that I'll probably push up in priority to try and get that done a bit sooner. Um, also, too, you've got notes. 
So really what the task should be here and which is explained in the Getting Things Done book is something that's an action, something that's your next action, not just um, you know a, an overall project or broad idea. It actually has to be the next step that you want to achieve. That's the only way that you're going to be able to get things done because um, if if essentially you just write, okay, for instance, um, I've got remember the milk video here. If I just wrote video, I mean, what does that mean? Yeah, it's a task that I, I round about sort of know what I have to do, but it doesn't explain what needs to be done. That's why you have to put in there, edit the, the video. Uh, then the next task should be upload the video. Really what you should be doing, and what I do, is every time a task comes into you know, my head, I just put it straight into this. What I actually, uh, what this, the benefit of, of this system is, for me, is that I have a, a widget that's on my um, phone, and if you can probably see that, hopefully it focuses in. That's a little widget, and that synchronizes with the online system. Um, when I open it up, I'm you know, given a number of options. I can select on today and tomorrow. And if I go into today, I've then got all the tasks listed which are in sync with everything that's on the computer. So what does this mean? Well, it means I can add tasks from the phone and will upload to the computer or vice versa. It means that when I complete a task here, it's completed off the computer. It's all synchronized. So when, I've, when I think of a task, no matter where I am, I put it on the phone or I put it on the computer. If I can't do it at that time, then I can set a date, I can set a time frame for how long it will take, and I can push that out to a suitable you know, day in the future. So this means that I'm able to think of tasks, put them into this list, and get them done um, when they need to be. But it also gets me to really refine what I want to do, because if I look at this task list and I put something in, then I go, well, hang on a sec, it's not really relevant, then I can just you know, either delete the task, uh, delegate it, and as um, you know, as you'll understand or listen to in, um, in by David Allen, you know, do it, delegate it, defer it, drop it. I could just, you know, if I if I just do it, bang, it's done. Um, delegate it. I could find somebody else to do it. Now I could actually share this um, with someone. Um, that's sort of the the next stage of a task. So you can you can actually share this um, parts of your uh, list, let's say, with another person. Um, I can so delegate it, or I can drop it. I can just delete it. If I want to delete it, I just because I've got the tick on here, I can just go up and select from the drop down menu and uh, and delete the task. And or I can duplicate it. Here's where you can share it with somebody. So. I would need to put in some contacts in here, um, let's say uh, your business partner, a colleague, um, someone that you are doing the project with, you could actually invite that contact, a content in here, a contact on here. So it would just be a matter of uh, you know, adding in their details, um, like adding an email address here, then it will link that person up to that task. It's not your whole workbook, um, your, your whole project book, it's just the tasks that you wanna share with that person. Um, so this is the, um, the tasks here. Um, if you scroll through, uh, what else do we have? Yeah, that was the context, uh, contents, uh, context, sorry. Um, you can then manage lists, so if you want multiple uh, lists to actually put things to if you've got multiple projects going on. What I suggest is first of all start with one basic overall task list. Don't get too happy on you know, creating um, multiple tabs. The best thing you can do is use the tab function because when you categorize it you can then search on that tab. If we go back to where we were to start off with Let's say I click on uh, the blog tab. Well, this brings up all the different uh, tasks that I have that have blog in the the, the tab or, uh, that I've I've got on this task. So as long as you're consistent with um, the, the different types that you're putting on there, you can um, Yeah, so as long as you're consistent, then you can search by that, and that way, if you're working on one large project, you can just pull all the tasks that are relevant to that project, so you can actually get them done. 
if you have a look at the front page, uh, and when you haven't got anything selected, you'll see that you know, it, get a, it give you a summary of the tasks, and you can print things out as well. So, you know, I've got 38 tasks in my inbox, which five are overdue, eight due today. Um, oh, sorry, I've got five due today, eight due tomorrow, none are overdue. But when I've allocated an estimated time, that's telling me how long it would take to actually complete all those tasks. So one day, two hours and 45 minutes. Gives you a good estimate um, to, to look forward and sort of just look at how busy you are. Probably a good way to, um, you know, what I do is just work out, all right, do I, um, if I've got five days of work ahead of me, will I need to delegate some of that or delete it if I can't get it done right now? So that's, you know, it's a really good way of identifying what you need to do now and um, what you need to delegate or drop. Um, so you can print out your task list. You've got an iCalendar. What you can do is you can actually add into, um, you know, Google Docs as well. Sorry, Google um, Google Calendar. So if you've got a Google account and you've got a, the calendar uh, associated with that, what you would do is add it, add the iCal uh, calendar events. You can add that into your Google Calendar, and then that will show up as a little link in there, which you can you know get your tasks. Personally, for me, I'm more than happy with the the Android app that I've got on here, so I can just I check this every day. It sends me reminders in the morning, um, so about nine o'clock, well, nine a.m. on the dot, it actually sends me a list of all the tasks that are overdue and, and what I need to get done. Uh, I, so what I'd suggest is if you want to get things done, if you want better time management, what you need to do is get yourself a copy of Getting Things Done. So the link is below this video. So get that, listen to it, or you can find it on Amazon and have a read through that. Then when the system that you could use, which I recommend, is Remember the Milk. And there's also a link to that in the um, notes below. There is a free account. I recommend trying that out first. Um, and then if you want, you can actually update at a later stage. Pretty sure there's um, an iPad or iPhone apps, Apple apps, all that as well. Um, so there's a great way to synchronize it across all your networks. Now, this has saved me um, a lot of time, um, saved me a lot of money, because I've been able to identify tasks, and remember the things that I need to do by getting them out onto a task list, and then coming back to them and actually getting them th them done. I'm not trying to uh, remember all the tasks in my head at the one time. I'm actually putting them in this list, um, having a more relaxed lifestyle when it comes to doing the work. I then look at the task because I've got an, you know notes um, in in here. Um, you know I can actually refer to that and actually understand what that task is all about, and then just get it done without the hassle of you know trying to think of a million other things in the background. If you'd like to get in contact with me, you can find me on Twitter at John Frankie J, as you can see here, John Frankie J, or you can head to my blog, which there's a link in um, the show notes below, which is just johnyoungblog.com. My aim is to help you understand social media, but more importantly, the tools in which you can use to to connect with other people in real time. If you liked what you've seen, it'd be great if you can give this video a thumbs up. But if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below.